We desperately need a revolution. Tonight's guest, Lupe Fiasco, is from one of the most dangerous places in the world, Chicago, Illinois, and preaches against the chaos that has taken over his hometown, even aiming to help curtail it with his foundation. During the first two weeks of nice temperatures in Chicago this year, which included Easter weekend, the city was overcome with some 100 shootings, leaving nearly a dozen dead. Many of these were young kids. In fact, five children were shot at a playground on Easter Sunday alone in one specific incident. In that same month, not one American serviceman in Iraq or Afghanistan was killed, making the ghettos of what we call Chirac arguably the most dangerous place on the planet. And it's right here in the middle of our country. Even worse is the fact that we all know it and do nothing other than shake our heads. It's like everyone's waiting for someone else to come in and fix it. Guess what? They aren't. Why don't the politicians? It's simple. The ghettos affected aren't big enough voting populaces and won't affect an election. It's also not a polarizing topic like abortion or taxes that people take hardline sides on and debate to get media attention, but instead something everyone agrees on yet does nothing about. So why do cities like Chicago and Detroit continue to decay under our nose as we do nothing while we send more troops overseas? Well, just like the prison system I spoke on a couple weeks ago, it's all about the money. Companies like Halliburton make billions of dollars from war. This comes from making the bombs, planes, drones, and war machines used to destroy the country, and then, get this, getting hundreds of billions of dollars in government contracts to come in and rebuild them, aka clean up the mess they made. It's absolutely insane a few specific companies have a monopoly and work on both sides of the fence. A clear conflict of interests. But that's a whole other subject altogether. And this comes from someone who thinks that we do need to use our power in other countries even when they don't directly attack us. I'm one of the people that believes it's important we pay close attention to the global picture and intervene when absolutely necessary. It keeps stability politically, but more importantly, is just the right thing to do as a human being. If you see someone being wronged, step in and help. You never know when it could be you. I just wonder how we justify spending billions of dollars overseas, but nothing at home. It's extremely well documented, and there's no debate on the horror happening in Chicago. There just is no action. Now, I'm not just calling out corporations and politicians. We know they're corrupted and only out for themselves and can't be depended on. We need to take things into our own hands. I'm calling out every single one of you at home and even myself. There are no true revolutionaries anymore. I'm disappointed that we all sit here and always wait and assume others will just come in. When something wrong happens, we may talk about it for a few days until that news cycle is done, but ultimately, we just talk about it and let it be. Shame on us for not having the balls to step up. We've all become too comfortable in our own lives to help others. Don't just sit there, do something. It's time to step out of our comfort zones and do what's right. It's time to take a note from our forefathers and those who paved the way from us and take things into our own hands. Revolutions have to start somewhere, so why not tonight and why not you? Chance the Rapper proved this was possible on his own by launching a small social media campaign that stopped gun violence in the Windy City for 42 straight hours. Quite a feat for a city that can average a shooting nearly every hour. Kudos to him and Lupe for what they're trying to do, and in line with that, it's time for all of us to step up and play our part. I was originally gonna tell everyone to do something specific tonight, like donate money to a charity, tweet a hashtag, email a politician, or volunteer in the community, but after speaking with community leaders in Chicago, I realized there is no fix-all. However, the most important thing to do is something. So I call all of you out tonight to do just that. Whether it's donating money to a charity like the ones listed, spreading this message and involving others through social media conversations, going out to the community to volunteer, or even contacting our government officials at the email addresses below, let's not sit back and let something we know is wrong continue going on. I'm gonna start off by putting the money where my mouth is and not only donating my entire paycheck from tonight's show to Lupe's foundation, but also spread this message through my various platforms, emailing our government, and setting up a trip to go visit the community again firsthand. You don't have to do anywhere near as much as me, but please, just do something. Three months ago, Lil Boozy was finally released out of the Louisiana prison system. Since being arrested in 2008, Free Boozy has become a mantra in pop culture. In contrast, his critics have called this movement ridiculous. What is Black Hippie? And what's going on with you guys now? Is it Q actually came up with that name. It was probably Top's idea to put the group together, but Q came up with that name. And um, it was just an idea of...